Well, good afternoon. I'm honored to be joined today by John Morris Russell, better known to all Cincinnatians and music fans everywhere as JMR. He's a conductor of the Cincinnati Pops Orchestra. Uh, DAV will mark our centennial celebration with the Cincinnati Pops at 7 p.m. Tuesday, September 28th at Cincinnati Music Hall. JMR will be leading that special performance, which includes appearances by the West Point Glee Club and American Idol star Melinda Doolittle. JMR, Maestro, tell us more about this special performance. No, oh, thanks, Rob. Uh, you know, we were supposed to do this last year, but of course, uh, uh, the pandemic pushed it off. Uh, but it gave us a little bit more time, actually, to really do a deep dive to, to, um, uh, to, to celebrate this remarkable institution that has its roots right here in Cincinnati, DAV. Um, and so we wanted to create a program where, where, where we celebrated um, uh, uh, DAV's last hundred years and, and how uh, important and, uh, of an institution it is for supporting our vets uh, who, who've given so much uh, for, our, for, for our freedoms that, that we enjoy here every day. As we've put together this, this, this uh, concert script uh, together, as we were looking at the ways that we wanted to highlight and break, break down DAV's history uh, and, and put it to music, uh, you've been instrumental in, in assisting us with that. Can, can you tell us more about um, the, the role of music in times of war? Well, you know, it's interesting in putting together this program, so many of these pieces are, are related to, to the conflicts that, that, that happened when they were written. Uh, I mean, music is so important. It, 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 it energizes, it motivates. Um, uh, uh, it, it is a, a morale booster as well. And, and not only for the troops, uh, but also for everyone here on the home front. Uh, and, and when we hear this music, we, 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 we don't only just hear the tune and the harmonies behind it, but we also hear the meaning that was put into that, that music when, when it was written. Uh, I mean, you know, when we perform something like the Battle Hymn of the Re Republic, I, it tells a story of America. Uh, it tells a story of, of what democracy and, and what this nation is really about. Uh, uh, even when we do something like Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, you know, which is very lighthearted and fun. But we have to remember that that, that was um, uh, performed and created in context of, of motivating GIs who were so far away from home uh, and so many of them who, who gave the, the, the last measure of their being uh, uh, to, to, to defend uh, a worldwide peace. Um, so, so every piece in this, in this uh, program uh, uh, is, is tied directly to the story of 100 years of uh, DAV. I love that. And you also had mentioned that uh, Cincinnati is the, the city where DAV was founded. Uh, Robert Marks was the uh, captain of the UC football team, University of Cincinnati graduate. The Playhouse in the Park is named after Robert Marks, uh, the theater there. And, um, you know, we have this deep connection uh, to the city, uh, to that neighborhood specifically, our first meetings were held in Memorial Hall, right next door to Music Hall. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the, the about historically? Give me some context for this this amazing venue where this this uh, celebration is going to take place. Right, of course, Music Hall uh, and uh, Memorial Hall were were next door neighbors. Uh, I remember when I first uh, visited the building when when we moved here in 1995, and, and I was just bowled away by by the architecture and the care. Uh, and, and the beauty of, of that uh, venue. Um, and, and if you look on the outside of Memorial Hall, you actually see uh, uh, statues on the pediment of soldiers from all of the major armed conflicts uh, uh, that, that had happened up to when the, when the building was built. There's a Minuteman, there's someone from 1812, uh, uh, there, there's a Doughboy, there's uh, some, someone from the Spanish-American War, from the Civil War. It's almost as if uh, the, those statues are, are looking down to all of us uh, and saying, do not forget us. Do not forget those people uh, uh, who, who, who've defended freedom uh, uh, in our country. And so in a way to create a concert to celebrate the history of DAV and also um, uh, the, the remarkable sacrifice of so many men and women over the last hundred years, uh, it, it is a really great honor, and uh, we're looking forward to this very, very special performance. Uh, just pretend for a second that instead of someone who's uh, incredibly excited about this event, like I am, like you are, uh, that you're talking to someone who's on the fence. Maybe they're not, uh, maybe they don't think that 
the pops orchestra is their thing or that the, they want to get out on a Tuesday night and, and, and go to the show. Sell us to them, JMR. Uh, this is a panoply of the American uh, experience. Uh, uh, we start off with the Cincinnatus Fanfare, which was written uh, for us by Pete Anthony, a great Hollywood composer. Uh, uh, I mean, Cincinnati is so important. And the name of our city uh, comes after Cincinnatus, the, the citizen soldier of, of Rome. Uh, I, I mean, this city was built by, by the, the, the veterans of the uh, American Revolution, who in lieu of payment in cash for their services to the country, uh, they were given land right here. Uh, and uh, so we start off with with the the importance of Cincinnati as as being the the, the real heartbeat of, uh, of of veterans in the United States. Uh, uh, we have performances from everything from Over There by George M. Cohan, Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy, uh, the theme from Mash, Bridge Over Tw Troubled Water, um, uh, R E S P E C T. Uh, beautiful City from Godspell, Battle Hymn of the Republic, America the Beautiful, with spectacular performances uh, of the Pops, uh, the, the incredible West Point Glee Club, uh, Melinda Doolittle, who's a real big fan uh, of the Pops, and, and uh, every time we get her to Cincinnati, it's always a joyous experience. Uh, we bring this all together uh, to celebrate 100 years of DAV and, and also uh, our, our men and women who, who, have, who have given so much uh, to defend our, our nation's democracy and freedom around the world. That's amazing. And if, uh, if you guys think that, that uh, he talks well, you should see him lead an orchestra. He's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he is amazing. Uh, Maestro, JMR, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, I wanna remind everybody, Cincinnati Centennial Celebration with the Cincinnati Pops is at 7 p.m. Tuesday, September 28th. You can buy tickets at DAV.org slash pops. Again, it's DAV.org slash pops. Maestro, the floor is yours. Take us out. Uh, well, thanks so much, Robin, and thanks for inviting us. And, you know, it, it, it's been over a year in the making, uh, and it's going to be that much more special for it. Uh, and especially Music Hall is back open again. And uh, our pops in the symphony uh, are performing for people. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's a beautiful time to, to come together and celebrate.